Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome back to part 3 of my let's play of the trial version of Amayui Castle Meister. Where we left off, we explored the dungeon in the first, the first level of the dungeon, and for that, and for a reward we got one step further with our walking castle towards our eventual destination. But we've decided to switch goals and work on Avaro's workshop, and we managed to build it. Next up, we're making a personal room for Avaro, for which we need some clay. And as luck would have it, we have a new map where we can find clay. Clay is right here. In the previous map, it's not something we'd find, but whoops. But here we can find it. There are also new enemies and new missions to complete. I'm going to be skipping this one for reasons I'm going to explain much later, but let's get going. This place is actually the first map. The one where Avaro went and fixed up a few emplacements. But since the castle started moving, it's changed a bit. Avaro here is explaining how once you defeat a map, you can go back to it and also these certain free maps you can go to. Oops. Oh, is she asking for a tutorial? She's asking for a tutorial. Forget it. You're not smart enough to get it anyway. Yep. So, when you're replaying story maps or going to free maps, you have the option to leave at any time. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, he's still talking about how this map is different from the way it was before. So, we'll win if 40 turns elapse, but we lose if we lose our base or all of our units are killed. So it's really hard to lose this. Anyway, when you replay story maps or you come to free maps, this icon here is available. You can leave the place at any time, even immediately upon entry, and you don't lose. Now these emplacements, we get MEGA POWER out of. These ones give 20, where those other... Those plants in the above ground only gave 10. Free stuff. So, this is new. The first time Avaro came here, there were no enemies. These guys have really low defense. But when they're defending, they get plus three, so Fia still doesn't do much damage. Hmm. All right. Always do all the gathering and mining you can. Yep. Now this is the boss monster of this stage, so we don't want Fia in the front lines for it. He actually hits pretty hard, and if his special ability activates, he can get double hits in. You notice that knocked over half of Avaro's life off in one shot. 
where he's still doing pretty good. But now that we've done this, he's gonna just come at us until we're dead. Anfia is not strong enough to actually hurt this. Now we've got some definite advantages. Now oh, there's the special ability. Did that look like it hurt? It definitely did. But since he's attacking out of a recovery feather, he attacks, and when he's done, he moves back onto it and gets all his life back. Bleh. I really prefer physical attack and physical defense right here. She doesn't even have a magic attack yet. That's this. And magic defense. Oh yes, later on there is an enemy that attacks with magic. But for most of the trial it's completely useless. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Super attack! Actually he might win. If he doesn't miss. Speak of the devil. Hmm. I'm gonna quick save here. Actually, I'm a little hoping that Avaro dies here. Mm, well, that works. Physical defense is useful. 2 HP. That's an iron claw. It's a new weapon we can use. Now, I've never talked about this and I may not use it very often, but it's a... Uh, it's a take back move. Yeah, it moves right back to your previous action. Before your previous action. So apparently in this game you get one take back. But odds are good that this is going to be exactly the same. Yep. If you were asking me, possibly a goddess card might... If you took back when you went onto a god... Shut up. Possibly. I'm speculating here. If you step onto a goddess card and it gives you something you don't like, you can use the take back move in order to go back. And goddess cards maybe will change. But for the most part, attacking enemies won't. Jeez, I've already such a wimp. Alright, she says there's a door so we can't go any further. Which is a... It's a roundabout way of saying, I need a tutorial here. No. Look, I'll open it. Just wait a minute. It's as simple as that. If I choose this, he won't open it. And if I choose this, he will open it. This is used with the same skill that allows him to unlock chests. Sophia can't do it. Alright. Recovery potion. Small. Alright, this. A Jupiter stone. These are useful. I'm gonna show you what it... Hmm. Okay. Right here I can use it. This is a Jupiter stone. And its effect is to add one to your maximum HP. Just like that. 21. Now she's slightly less of a wimp. Hmm. I wasn't expecting. 
expecting that. Last time I played through this place was just full of putties. Death from above! Now you may notice that these things have 14 max health, but these two only had 7 to start with. Actually, these things have an ability that lets them split into two units. But they don't get to split their HP. But they don't get full HP. So this one started with 7, the other one's... Well, it was one that started with 14 and then it split into two with 7. There have been times I've come into this back room and found six or seven of them. All with one or two hit points. Alright, this time we ought to do it. Alright. What's important in here are the emplacements. I only got the two. And the gather point and the mining point. Also, if you defeat the boss, you get a bonus at the end of the level. So we go in the barrel right now. We found everything, so we get a bit of money. We open the door, so we get another Jupiter stone. And we beat the boss, so we get an iron scrap. Steel scrap. No, oh, five of them. I don't actually know that we can use those in the trial version. Those bastards, I went in there to get some clay and it didn't give me any clay. Oh well, let's watch the scene. You spaz, don't just come running over here screaming. Alright, so what's up? Alright, Fia's gonna ask Avaro about his past because she doesn't know anything about him. So it's question and answer session. Only this time Fia answers, asks, asks the questions and Avaro answers. Alright, let's start talking. Fine. First question. Alright, this has been bothering her. Yeah, Alvaro's hair has two colors in it. That's really weird. Yeah, he's a half elf, so he has characteristics of both races. Don't ask me, I don't know what that's how that's supposed to explain it. Okay, yes, Fia. Yeah. A half elf means a human and an elf. Alright. Overall, likes uh, relationship kind of stuff, so. What's up with his father and mother anyway? But Avaro's an orphan, actually. He doesn't even know if his parents are still alive. Ah, feels all worried that she asks an insensitive question. Now, Avaro's never met them, so he doesn't really think about them much. Although a long time ago, when he was younger, he hated them for... I don't know. Anyway. He doesn't hate his lineages anymore. There are a lot of advantages to his situation. He can hear the voices of the spirits a little bit. He can't really talk with them easily, but he feels they're he gets he can get a grip on their what they're feeling at any time. He can 
Oh yeah, he feels magic and spirits and in places like buildings and wells where they would reside, he can get a grip on that sort of stuff. It's useful he's working as an engineer. <laughs> Fia seems to think this is a nice thing. Afaro points out there's still disadvantages. Well, he did grow up without any parents to rely on. And being half-elf, he's not exactly one or the other. She thinks it's lovely. Huh? Yeah, apparently she thinks that he gets all the advantages of both races. And she thinks that understanding how both the elves and the humans feel, he could get along without both of them. Avar saying, that's really not possible. Humans are pretty tolerant, but the elves are kind of... Well, they're fucking elves. Fuck them elves, they're just a bunch of elves, seriously. Kind of xenophobic in this setting. But in any setting, elves are really lame. Well, that's my opinion anyway. But she's certain she's right that he can get along with them. Alright, here, let's hear some logic out of you. So, she says. Avaro's father and mother met, fell in love, and gave birth to him, so must be possible, right? Well, actually, that's a pretty good reason, isn't it? You're still a spaz. And they, she's there to back us up in case it doesn't work out. Or when Navarro is in trouble. <laughs> yeah, Alvaro says she's pretty amazing and she says, Yeah, yeah, I am amazing. Cause I'm a goddess. What a goofball. All right. Thanks for being who you are, Fia. Yeah, she's such a goof. All right, back to work. Yeah, usually these question and answer sessions last longer. Like that first one had like four questions in it, but she only got one. But we've got plenty of chances to talk anyway. Alright, let's get the clay we need. Oops. Here. It's a mining item, so... Whoops. Mm -hmm. I'm missing a treasure in here. I better keep my eyes open. Normally I wouldn't do that. So, where's the treasure? Hmm. Oh, whatever. Yes. Let's 
出撃。Oops. お宝だ。Yeah, you guys are outclassed here. Hey, physical attack. I like that. Oh, new thing. Oh, new thing. Oh, new thing. We don't need anything more out of you, Fia. And we get here, and we're done. Give me clay. Give me clay. Give me clay. There it is, clay. Now we can move on with the story. So, Havaro's personal room. Yes. Yes. Sugida. Yeah, I built that so I get to see a scene. So this is like a bedroom. Yeah. Fia's impressed. I've always a little bashful about it. Yeah, she gets it excited easily. But it's not in a dislikable way. Now we have a place that's safe for monsters to sleep. So where were you sleeping below? Yeah, it'd be scary if you got attacked when you were asleep. Yeah. It's not just scary, you'd die. But isn't the bed kind of small? Ah, uh, no, it's fine. It's about of our size, so it'll work. It's definitely small, she says. Now what's she going on about? It's his bed, after all. Now she gets to what she was saying. Since it's such a small bed, she'll, the two of them will have to cuddle up real close in order to sleep in it. Ah, uh, hold up there, little girl. Fia, your room isn't here. Yeah. You mean this wasn't meant to be our love nest? Uh... Man, you are such a spaz. How did we even get to this l conversation? No, that's not what it was. We're going to make your room next. She wanted to sleep in the same room and be with him. That's kind of creepy, he's thinking. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, they're just getting started on putting this castle to work. Yeah, here they're talking about all the things they want to do and the places they want to clean out of and put to use. Abaro, Arujo, Moyaru, Koroba, Tarinaito, Mono. 
Yeah. I'm still kind of a smart ass with her. Well, I'm kind of a smart ass with everybody he's dealt with. She thinks she deserves some more respect. No, come on. If Avaro did that, he, he wouldn't be Avaro anymore. Oh, pout some more. We're really going to change our minds. Yeah, that's a good pouty phase. Alright, now the room's pretty well done. No. Now we do the final preparations on the room. <laughs> yeah, she wants her own her room set up next. Of course, of course. In fact, he's kinda sad that he's kinda regretting that he didn't do her room first. That's our next plan. A drinking fountain. And this is the next story element. It also takes a clay, but luckily we got plenty of it that last round. It's a drinking fountain. Oh, yeah, perhaps I should tell you since you couldn't read it. She's asking what he's making, so he answers, it's a drinking fountain. Oh, The water's precious, so don't misuse it, okay? She understands, so whenever she's thirsty, she's going to call Avaro over and have it him. I wouldn't say feeding, but okay, let's just say have him mouth feed the water to her. Alright, back to work then. Hey, don't ignore her. Actually, I think it's better you ignore her when she says stuff like that. Alright, now that we've built this wa water fountain, we can place it inside of the castle area. Oh, oh, I know what this is. She is requesting another tutorial. No. <laughs> yeah, in the end, you're going to leave it all to me, so... I'll explain... I'll explain it to you when I have time. Ah, isn't she cute when she pouts? Alright, next up, we got plans for the castle... Shh. Next up, we got the plans for the castle gate. Hmm, let's see. This requires stone and green grass. Probably you have plenty of that by the time you yes. get here. Yes. I certainly do. Alright, the castle gate. This could be called a repair rather than a new construction. But whatever, it's done. Now all we have to do is head out the gate and go to the town. Hmm, I didn't notice this, but her, her color is... Uh, coming flush and pale. It's a bit of a change on the... 
<laughs> well, I hope it's not my monitor. Anyway, she says that she's kind of feeling some power building up in her. Which is odd because we haven't done any of the things we said that would, would give her power. Oh, now she's speculating that since the castle is her body, if we fix stuff around the castle, she'll get more power out of it. Or maybe use the power she had or already had more efficiently. Ooh. So, that's another way of gaining power for her. What are we up to? Four or five or something? So far says that with this, all this, it's getting clear that she really is connected to the castle. Uh, yeah, we were kind of sort of doubting that. Keep pouting, keep pouting. You're so cute. Yes, yes, we were doubting it was actually her body. Well, it is true that she hasn't really produced a lot of proof of being a goddess. There is the spirits giving her power thing. But other than that, not too much. Pout, 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 jeez. You brat. Dork. Brat. Spaz. Really? Yeah, Avaro does reassure her that he's the person who most in the world believes in her right now. Well, yeah, it's real. Nobody else knows that he exists. Jeez, you and your mood swings. She is pretty cute, though. Cute, 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 cute. Cute. A spaz, but cute. Alright, let's hurry on to the next one. Yeah, we get to go to the village now. Except... At this point, we actually can't go to the village. Because in order to do that, we also need to get our goddess rank up to three. I need 30 more. This will give us enough mega power in order to get to rank three then. Yes. Bam, rank three. Next. Her next title is... The girl who is... connected to the castle. She also gained this new skill. Gained five accuracy and other miscellaneous. Connected to the rank up. Another scene. She says she can move the castle now. What are you doing screaming things out all of a sudden? You said it wrong, Fia. It's not Mega Ryoko. It's Mega Power! Just keep an eye on that next time, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because we're getting all this stuff put together, right? She's feeling a whole lot better. Uh, she's talking about it as her body and says that she's able to tell when her body's feeling better. 
She's got a better track of the subtleties than people do, though. Oh, that must be because she's a goddess. Oh, come on. Don't act like a god only when it's convenient. Oh, this is good. When her power rises, her apostle's power will also be affected as well. So what kind of effect? New skill! So first things first. Navarro has lost that permanent skill that was here. Reduced his FS to half. Now he's able to walk across the map without getting tired. And he gained that new skill. Tosere Fuyo. I think. I can equip it here and use it in battle. What it does is power up an ally. It adds to their accuracy and magic and, and physical and magic attack. Lasts for five turns. He can actually stack it on an ally. Of course, he can only cast it three times, so that's three stacks, but if he did it, it would actually pretty be pretty effective. Oh yeah. She also had a, her rank up, which got her this. Hmm, wait, wait. We just got the rank up, so it's going to explain that in a moment. This explains Avaro's new skill. So this is how it works. When Fio grows, Avaro grows. Great. How nice. So it isn't all disadvantages. Alright, with this we are able to go to the world map. Well, world... Perhaps I should say country map. It's basically the Inferus Kingdom. This is explained that we can leave the map now. Hmm. I could have sworn that was a cutscene where she explained well, let's see all the cutscenes and maybe I'll find it in here. Oh. This isn't the one. She just likes relaxing in a bed, I guess. Well, who doesn't? Fia just it comes within here without any hesitation. Yeah, Avaro's room is Fia is Fia's room. Well, interesting reasoning there, huh? But she's a sweet girl and all. So, what's up with the outfit? It's pajamas. Uh, yeah, guess so. So, she's amnesiac. Hmm. Yeah, I've always a little worried about her being amnesiac, but... She's all lively and everything, so he feels kind of silly for worrying. <laughs> oh, quit dorking out whenever he says he worries about you or cares about you or whatever. Hey, he's serious here. Anyway, how much does he... does Fia remember? I 
She really doesn't remember anything, but why does he want to know? Well, it's Varro's duty as his as her apostle to check up on her. Yep, that's all she remembers. Her name's Sia. She's a goddess. And this Guadacuna castle is her body. And that's all. Uh, no progress. Look, it's not something you need to apologize for. In fact, Avaro apologizes. Yeah, you're both a couple of dorks. Well, it'll be nice when she starts remembering stuff. So I was going to ask, was she always inside of the crystal he found her in? She's thinking that there were actually more times when she wasn't inside of it. But that's not really specific, is it? Now he's just reviewing everything in his head. And he doesn't have enough in his head to make any good speculations. Well, don't try and force yourself to remember things. It'll just make you feel bad. Make you lose sleep. Well, there is one more thing. She definitely has to go to the God's Haze up north. So, you don't remember the reason? Yeah, she doesn't know the reason, but it's like a feeling she has. It's a really important feeling that she really, really has to go there. Hmm, okay. So, so that... Oh, this is a good one. We've been wandering around in this castle interior for a bit. What does Avaro think about the interior? Avaro's pretty knowledgeable about buildings and magic. And giant magic buildings. Well, magic and buildings, anyway. So, what's he think about it? Yeah, he's thinking about the places he's been, the works of magic and engineering of magic that he's seen. But it really doesn't match up with anything he's seen in his travels. He really geeks out on this in his head. But he ultimately says, there's nothing he's seen like it. <laughs> but for that reason, he's really interested in researching it. Fia's thinking that if we get to the God's Haze, we'll be able to learn more about the arts that created the castle. Really? Yeah, there might be something something to find out connected to the castle there. 
うん分からないそうかもっていう記憶が少しだけあるの She's just getting the feeling like it's maybe there like maybe it's a memory she's got and maybe it's not Yeah I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually アバラの役に立ったのなら嬉しいよ All right, you dork. Don't fall asleep in the middle of a sentence. Huh? Ma, Ika. Yeah, she's so sweet and interesting. Sweet and innocent. Now he's thinking about going up there, holy ground being forbidden, and stuff like that. <laughs> But he does like researching new stuff. So he's getting fired up too. Yeah, she's talking in her sleep. And apparently, getting it on with Alvaro in her sleep. She's such a perv. Question and answer time. He is asking Avaro if he's a repairman. Now, why did you think that? Avaro was surely no she got to the Joe Sai ni hai tat te 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 Well, she asks what that is. So he explains how he goes into ruins and labyrinths and fixes things up. He can work with magic items and weapons. Furthermore, he can mine and collect and unlock things and etc. etc. For that reason, he, she, he has a lot of magic knowledge. And、uh, study. Yeah. Knowledge in the magical. Art. Background in magical studies.、Uh, there we go. This is the face and sound of somebody who didn't understand a word he said. Okay then. He can use magic to fix things. So, Avaro is a mage?、Mm, okay, we'll say that. He's a mage that has a lot of knowledge of the natural sciences and construction stuff. It's also a, it's also a profession that requires a lot of. Strength and endurance. So, engineer is something that's actually rather rare. Now we talk about how Avaro came to be one. Oh, I missed that. Here, Avaro was talking about how he did things like repairing roads and building bridges. Roads and bridges, she says. Again, 
Sophia is a goddess of the connections between people, so roads and bridges are a good metaphor for some things. Some of the things she's connected to. <laughs> yes, this makes her happy. Obviously. Hey, don't come over here and hug me for that reason. All right, next up. Did Arvaro always want to be an engineer? Well, no. Actually, when he was younger, he just randomly bounces about things and kind of naturally ended up in this. Because he gets to do a lot of research on things and he loves geeking out. Yep, he loves studying. Now she observes that it's amazing that he got to be an engineer at such a young age. He attributes some of it to being the half elf again, but there was another reason. It's because his teacher. The guy who showed him how to do engineering work. If he had had to self-teach himself all of engineering, it would have been pretty hard. So we talk about that guy. Probably he's talking about Detail. Probably. We can find out when the full version comes out. <laughs> She is impressed by how he seems to be respectful of this person. Actually, he's just an easygoing old guy. But if he ever up with that, if the opportunity ever comes up, I'll probably introduce Fia to him. Yeah, she's looking forward to it. Is this the one I'm looking for? Oh, this one. We got a broken bow. Well, it's not that you can't use it, but it'd be pretty hard to use it. But it comes at a convenient time because I've already just finished something. He just put together the equipment he needs for disassembly and strengthening. Oh, do we want a tutorial? Not this time either. So yeah, there's disassembly and there's strengthening. These are things we can do to items. So, this is the broken bow. Let's start with strengthening. The broken bow doesn't show up in the strengthening list, so no matter what we do, we can't strengthen it. And what it shows is, well, let's compare it to the small bow she uses now. It has 30% less accuracy, and it adds nothing to her attack, where the small bow adds one to her attack. So this is in all ways inferior. Hmm. Actually, no. This one's different in that it's it's a uh, type is holy instead of the this one whose type is physical. I'm not really certain if that means when she has it equipped she has a holy. Yes. Let's take a look. Maybe, maybe it affords her a holy based attack instead of a physical based attack. But it's still not a very good weapon, and we want to 
do this tutorial anyway. Oops. So, over on the right you can see what you can get if you disassemble some, these items. These first ones, you'll get one earth. Hmm. Earth strengthening, earth strengthening stone, we'll say. But once we get down to the broken bow, it gives us two holy strengthening stones. Most everything else is earth. Well, everything else is earth, period. So let's get rid of this. I'll also take these two wood shields I made earlier. Because I want to play with wood earth strengthening stones as well. Yes. So here in the strengthening screen, we can use those to strengthen our various items. With the earth stones, let's go level this up. This is an attack booster that I think I've got on a VAR right now. As it stands, it only adds one to his attack, but if we strengthen it twice with the two earth strengthening stones, It'll be a plus three, which is pretty impressive at this point in the game. And there's also the holy stones. You can see as we add it that the the first holy stone we use on this cape of Fias will add one to her physical defense, and the second will add one to her magic defense. We came over here and did the Connection goddess shoes. We can put holy into those as well. It adds one to our speed each time. Just balance it out, I'll give both of them. Yes. Yes. So now we've got No, actually this isn't equipped on anyone. But this war record ring will add three to whoever's attack if we equip it now. This one's equipped on Fia. No, oh, she came. She came with it on her. It adds one to her magic defense. Jeez, talk about useless. You're lower level, so I'm going to put that on you, so you can do damage and level up faster. All right, more cutscenes. Mega Lyuk got tamed up. Because of that, I got a better attack magic weapon. This way, I'll be able to fight with ease. This way, I'll be able to fight with ease. Yes, this is the scene I was looking for. Because she's ranked up her magic weapon. 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 Because she's ranked up Oh. Is that all the speech we're going to see? The rest is just reading? Okay. So attack magic can be useful against things that have high physical defense. Because as a rule, if something has high physical defense, they will be weak against magic. Of course, there are things that have high physical and magic de defenses, but that'll be later in the game, I guess. In that case, you basically just have to level up until you overpower them. So this explains how you equip the new skill. I already did it, but here it is. In the items screen, this very last one is the skills that each character has. What she's talking about is this one. The holy shot, we'll call it. This has got holy attributes to it, so if any is weak against holy magic, it'll be taking extra damage from this. And it's got the same range as her bow. She's got fairly decent magic attack, so it'll work. And that'll about wrap it up for today. But I'll show you the world map before we. Oh, jeez. Another cutscene. Hi there. Oh, this prick. 
literally what I said to myself the first time I saw that. Alright. So this is the person to whom Kisnir reports. His name is Girsh Rus. The first thing out of his mouth is telling her that she was ordered not to return until the until there was success, however success is defined. So she better not disappoint him and with a waste of his time. Well, it's hard to say it was a success, but... And here's a report of what happened. Yeah, she's obviously crazy or something. Ruins don't just grow legs and walk off. Yeah, it's admittedly hard to swallow. Alright, he says he'll verify before he... I don't know, fires her? Yeah, she says she's going to the yeah, actually, it's not under our control where it goes. For that reason, in this incident, she'd like to request more soldiers. Oh, Yeah, he's so focused on results, he's kind of pissed to hear that not only were there not exactly results, but he needs to devote more resources. So, during the excavation, there was violent rumblings and we evacuated. Etc. Etc. All the stuff we know already, and he doesn't. So basically, we don't know why it started moving. Precisely. So now he wants to know why she's requesting soldiers. Well, she wants to save up our weapon. Yeah. Now he's berating her for caring about the life of one of the workers. What she needs to do is go to the ruins and reclaim them. But he will approve soldiers for use in that regard. Kisnir defends her desire to uh, save Avaro and all. Mm. Now he's pulling rank on her and saying she doesn't have the right to give him her opinions. 
you prick. Yeah. Yeah, lecture her if you want. What you have to do is obey her orders and don't waste time with her words. では、すぐに準備を整え、出立いたします。待て。姿を消したのは単領士だと言ったか。ふん。やはり救出ではなく確保という判断で間違いはなさそうだ。Oh yeah, you're really going to be redeeming yourself here. So, the person we lost was an engineer, she said. So he's thinking that rather than rescue, we should be securing the thing. どういう意味でしょうか。察しの悪い奴だ。出世したければ頭を働かせよう。他の作業員は貴様と一緒に避難しており、遺跡の中にいたのは落盤に巻き込まれたものの身なのであろう。So he is speculating that the one person that was left behind 様の言う未来ある有能な若者が遺跡を動かし持ち出し逃げたと考えるのが自然であろうが。That very person whom Kisner actually spoke fairly highly of took the ruins and activated them and ran off with them. それは。She is not well, she can't deny it, but she doubts it. ああ、もう良い。貴様の意見を聞きたくて呼び止めたわけではない。その可能性を熟慮しておけというだけだ。What a prick. Okay. So, look. I'm not giving you my opinion so that you can give me your opinions. I'm giving you my opinion so I can rub my opinions in your face. You may go now. 次はその動き出した遺跡を確保したという報告以外は聞かぬ。you may leave now. And don't come back until you have those ruins secured. This guy, however... <laughs><笑><笑> Mm, hard to say what he's getting at here. But he's not just dismissing the ruins walking off on their own out of hand, so perhaps he has some knowledge he's not letting on. And he says it's getting interesting. And now he speaks without any giving any details as to his goal, which he may be able to use this to his advantage in. Not that we're going to get an explanation from him. Ah, but what he said is bothering Kisnir. So she's going to get soldiers for the quote-unquote purpose of securing the ruins, but she's actually going to use them for what she wanted them for in the first place. She's a good girl. She really is. All right, world map. So this hole here is where the castle started and, well, that's obviously where it's gotten so far. And we get to look at this entire world map. This is going to be a nice, interesting game. You can tell, can't you? And this, clearly, is the God's Haze. Exciting, isn't it? Well, what the hell is going on in there? Well, we'll find out one day. But for now, I will see you later, YouTube.